begin the review of the iPod Touch. The specs include a 720p HD video camera with a 0.7 megapixel camera with it, with a front-facing camera, the gorgeous 3.5-inch Retina display, and a single-core A4 processor. The iPod Touch comes with iOS 5, Apple's new operating system. And here is the home screen. You can just double tap the home button and you get your camera icon so you can go straight to the camera. There are your volume keys and you can just take a picture by pressing the upper volume button. You can also just swipe to the left to view your pictures. We're obviously locked so you can't see all your photos. all your pictures and then you have the option to tweet your picture which is also new in iOS 5. Another feature is FaceTime which uses the front facing camera that comes with the iPod touch. Obviously I haven't set it up yet but it pretty much is just FaceTime on every other device like the iPhone. And a new app called Reminders, which you can set to remind you things that you have to do, like homework or grocery lists, or if you have to like do the laundry or something. Those are my completed reminders. Another app is Newsstand, which you can purchase magazines at. And if you click your magazine, it'll take you into a separate app where you can purchase the issues. As you can see here, this magazine costs $6.99. So, price depends on the magazine. New app is iMessage. You can actually iMessage me there <laughs> if you want to. And you can also see like if that message was delivered and if the other person is typing. And obviously the notification bar, we choose swipe down and you have a weather widget and a stocks widget. And you can just swipe it to see your weekly forecast. And you just swipe up, just like Android. And there are all your apps, some new apps that Apple made. This is iMovie from last year which is also available on the iPad 2. We also have a new app called Find My Friends, which is kind of creepy, but it's still there. It, you, pretty much what you do is you can use GPS to find where your friends are. And then a new app called Cards. Also, in any app, you have option to pull down your notification bar, which is really nice. So there you have the card, and you can just send it for only $2.99. And the app is free in the App Store. I'm going to show you a demo of gaming on this device. Gaming is really nice with the beautiful retina display. It really pops. But as you can tell, this game is not loading very quickly. And that's because it only has the single core A4 chip, not the A5 dual core processor that comes in the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. Here's the bottom, there's your camera. And again, your notification bar can come down up in any app. And it will welcome me Game Center. The graphics look pretty nice, could be a little bit faster.
But again, the retina display makes every game amazing. Right here I'm playing Real Racing 2, which is a really fun game, I definitely recommend you guys get it. It's my personal favorite racing game for iOS. So that's Real Racing 2 on the iPod Touch. This comes in six different variations in black and white and 8 gigabyte for 299, 32 gigabytes for 299 and 64 gigabytes for 399. Now let's talk about the hardware of the iPod Touch. So obviously this is white, there's a white home button. It's super duper thin, super thin uh, volume up and down buttons. And uh, you do get the glossy mirrored screen, which I hate because it gets so fingerprinty. Then your speaker grill on the bottom with your uh, 0.5 or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And yeah, that's the white iPod. It looks amazing. I definitely prefer the white over the black. And this is what it looks like with a black case. It accentuates it well. So in my opinion, the white is a lot better. It just makes it look cooler. So here are the contents of the box that you get with the iPod Touch. Uh, your fingertips guide with Apple stickers. And your amazing, amazing uh, Apple headphones. They're so great. Also, you do get a 30-pin connector. It actually looks a little bit different. Putting it in the iPod Touch is not super easy, not, not as natural as putting it in the iPhone. Hey guys, here's a sample of the iPod Touch is video recording capabilities in 720p. Here's some outside shots. So to wrap up my review, here's a size comparison between the iPod and the first gen iPhone. It obviously is way thinner. And I give this product three and a half stars because the processor is not very good and the cameras are lacking a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe for more content.